Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by speaking glowingly of the workforce and their contribution to the Guyana we have today as the country celebrated Labor Day. Workers' contributions cannot be erased, forgotten or diminished. Whether it was in the field or factory, on the waterfront or in the offices, workers have been at the forefront of campaigning for betterment. Through their exertions, struggles and sacrifices, they have been able to secure greater rights and improve the lot of the working class. Today, workers are protected by our country's constitution and progressive labor laws. This is buttressed by the government's record of increasing workers' disposable income, providing wage and non-wage benefits, and enhancing working class livelihoods. The reinstituted Ministry of Labor is being strengthened to more vigorously protect workers' rights and ensure their safety. I look forward to working with the trade union movement in a spirit of respect rather than rancor, hope rather than hostility, and cooperation instead of confrontation. President Ali on Sunday hosted a breakfast for union leaders on the occasion of Labor Day. Among those who attended the event were representatives of the Guyana Public Service Union, the Clerical and Commercial Workers Union, National Association of Agricultural, Commercial and Industrial Employees, Guyana Labor Union, and the Guyana Agricultural and the General Workers Union. President Ali was accompanied by Ministers Dr. Ashni Singh, Gail Teixeira and Sonia Parag, and a Member of Parliament, Jennifer Westford. Dr. Ali also participated in Eid al-Fitr celebrations at the Muslim Youth Organization. There, he reiterated that persons must live in peace and harmony. Regardless of where we stand in life or where we sit in life, we are but one. The purpose of us standing together in prayers is to demonstrate and reinforce this fact that before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before God Almighty, we are nothing but the same. We are nothing but the same. There is absolutely no difference based on any character, whether rich or poor. Regardless of your status, we stand together. President Ali also visited the Lenora Masjid to participate in Eid celebrations. Also, in observance of Eid al-Fitr, President Ali and the First Lady, Arya Ali, hosted a dinner at State House. The head of state on Tuesday opened the National Media Conference and the Symposium in commemoration of World Press Freedom Day. He launched the event at the Arthur Chung Conference Center with hundreds of media practitioners and the journalists in attendance. Dr. Ali reaffirmed his government's position on freedom of the press. He also urged the media operatives to be responsible, fair, objective, and respectful of the rule of law. The government in a democracy must be able to protect those who operate with the objectivity, the impartiality, and the responsibility and decency in which they, they, they carry out their trade. The government has to ensure <clears throat> that they are protected. The president made it clear that his government has no intention of using modern technology, such as spyware, to monitor the activities of journalists or citizens. This government 
has no intention whatsoever. It is not, it is not even contemplated my mind to move in any direction, to have any spyware or wireware or anything to, to, to spy on anyone. That is it. That is forest from my thought. I have not even imagined something like that. So take it out. Take it out even your imagination now. It will never happen. At least on the discovery. Our presentation today signifies the commitment of both Ghana and Nigeria to take the relationship between our countries to a new level. We have mentioned the several multilateral forums in which we enjoy close collaboration. It is my hope that we can continue to advance our shared interests. Our bilateral relations can only benefit from increased emphasis in the areas which we have identified. The head of state was joined by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, and the Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Elizabeth Harper. On Friday, President Ali met with the President of the Federative Republic of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, and his delegation, and discussed a number of bilateral, regional, and global issues. The President also witnessed the signing of two bilateral agreements between Guyana and Brazil at the Arthur Chung Conference Center. The treaties were inked by Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, and his Brazilian counterpart, Minister Carlos Alberto Franco. Those areas, food security, and food security not only from a Guyana-Brazilian perspective, but a CARICOM perspective. The issue of energy, and energy security, infrastructure, and integration of infrastructure, security, national security, and defense, and trade arrangements, expanding our trade arrangement and opportunities. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.